Oh, hey, Dan. So, I'm in Mongolia, and obviously we're eating a lot of food that is not common to me. And I want to tell you guys what I think is a wonderful story. So this guy is going through the desert, and he is thirsty, and he's dying of thirst. And then he comes over this hill, and there's an oasis, and there's beautiful, fresh, clear water. And he drinks, and he's like, this is the sweetest water I've ever had in my entire life. And he gets enough for his ride and for his animals, <clears throat> and then he gets a bunch of it for the king. And he brings it back, and he comes to the king court, the king court, and he says, King, I found this water, it was delicious, it was beautiful, and I wanted to bring it to you because you deserve to have some of this water that's in your land. And so the king's like, let me try some of it. He pours it out, and the king takes it, and he's like, oh, this is the best water I've ever had. Thank you so much. He goes on and on about how delicious it is. Thank you so much. The guy finally leaves. The other people in the court are like, can we taste the water? He goes, yeah, go ahead. And they taste it, and they're like, Ugh, that's horrible. He goes, yeah, I know. And they go, then why did you go on and on about how good it was? And he goes, because I didn't taste the water that had gone bad on the way. I tasted his gift. He sacrificed for me, and I tasted his gift. And I think that's very important when somebody is kind to you, even if it's not what you're used to, that you're kind back to them and that you taste their gift and not what you're actually tasting. Love you.